I wish I could get all of this in one picture. I mean, we are looking over the entire Machu Picchu site. We're here on a Sunday morning. It's supposed to be the busiest time, I mean, Sunday anyway. And between, sometime between 10 and 11, I'm supposed to start climbing this mountain right here. I'm not sure I'm going to make it, but we'll see what happens. Right up on top, they tell me there's some structure. I can barely, I can't see it. We'll see. Sunday, May 22nd. You can just see the part of the Inca Trail and the right middle. The view from up here is just amazing. You can see some llamas. They use those to keep the grass short, but I hear it's not quite enough. So every once in a while they will mow this. And I'm suspecting that we'll see in just a moment some piles of grass that they have cut. But that valley there is the Urubamba River there at the bottom of that valley. But I mean, I think these are piles of grass that they cut. Some of these people here give you perspective. We can't even see much of Machu Picchu, which is on the other side of where those people are standing. This is a guardhouse and maybe a mountain I might climb in an hour or two. There's only a certain period of time you can climb that. You have to get a ticket usually a week in advance. Thank you for a travel agent. <laughs> I think. <laughs> so these flat areas were used for farming by the Incas. Sunday, May 22nd. And we're sitting at one of the higher points in Machu Picchu, looking down at many of the archaeological ruins, although ruins is not the term they like us to use. But the view here is just amazing. <laughs> Much of this is in the shadow, this valley, but what you don't realize is that there's terracing on the back side of Machu Picchu. It's not easy to see. Then on this smaller peak, I hear there's people on the crest. Maybe we can see those. <laughs> maybe, maybe we can see some people up there.
Here they are doing restoration on the Machu Picchu, some of the structures here. On the way down from the Huayna Picchu, that overlooks Machu Picchu. And I was wondering whether, right, I don't even know whether I can focus in on it. Whether these are campsites, these are tents right here. People camping. And you can see the switchbacks that the bus takes from Aguas Caliente to get to Machu Picchu. And right there is the kind of the end of the way with the bus stops and restaurants. And then you go to the bathroom because there are no bathrooms in all of Machu Picchu. If you can believe that. You can see part of it, but most of it now it can't be seen. And if you look real closely, you'll be able to see what they call the Inca Trail, this line that comes from that notch. And some people actually hike three days from the Sacred Valley to get here. And there's actually tours you can get on that walk the whole way. Not easy.